Welcome to our, our series on Ignatian Wisdom. My name is Kevin Leidick. I'm one of the pastor ministers here at El Retiro. In this session, I'd like to describe how God confirms our decisions. In the two previous segments, we looked at the language of consolation and desolation. And then last session, we looked at how God is going to be um, directing our decisions either through immediate clarity or through the movements of the heart or through our wisdom. But part of Ignatian's decision-making is paying attention to how God confirms our decisions once they are, make, once they are made. Confirmation is very significant to pay attention to how God communicates his confirmation to each one of us after our decisions. Ignatius in his autobiography gives us five criteria of how God confirms our decisions. If a decision is of God, it's going to, the outward manner is good. The decision is good in itself. Secondly, it has an element of clarity to it. It's going to be long lasting. Fourthly, it brings profit to others. And fifthly, there's a desire to serve. Now, not all those criteria may apply to any one particular decision, or perhaps a variety of them, but those are five fundamental ways which God can confirm our decisions. Ignatius gives some examples from his own life in his autobiography. For example, um, shortly after his conversion, he had a desire to join the Carthusians, to join a monastic community. But then he said that after a week or two, that desire cooled. It wasn't long lasting. It wasn't true consolation, but a false consolation. It didn't live up to the sense of being long lasting. God is not fickle, but God's gonna be constant in God's confirmation. Uh, at one time, uh, Ignatius went to extremes in terms of fasting in uh, lack of eating and lack of sleeping. And he found that when he did these extreme behaviors, his enthusiasm, his effectiveness of serving others waned. And he realized that that's not of God, but rather all of our actions should be helpful to help us to serve others more effectively and more lovingly. Ignatius had the experience of scruples uh, over very simple decisions like, should I bring food along a journey or not? If I don't bring food along, am I testing God? If I do bring food along, am I, am I trusting God? So in a sense of there's a, a great deal went round and round on a, a simple decision that wasn't very significant in itself. He discovers that not from God's spirit, but rather it was from the spirit that is contrary to God. And that the scruples, the experience of scruples, were not clear, did not bring clarity. So a sense of, for Ignatius, confirmation, there's no necessarily a process of it. The length of the confirmation depends upon the seriousness or the, um, the importance of the decision. So if one is choosing something very simple, the, the process of confirmation is very simple. If one is making a choice that's very important or long lasting, then the process of confirmation may be longer. But again, one must pay attention to how God continues to confirm our decisions through these five very objective criteria that Ignatius gives us in his autobiography. Thank you very much. And we'll look ahead at another aspect of Ignatian decision-making in our next session.